I made the mistake of buying my wedding dress too small. I don't feel beautiful because it doesn't fit well. It's most difficult to fit the dress right around that middle area. That little bulge that can happen right up here. Right there, that just needs to go. I am billowing out the back of it too. I don't want anybody to see these love handles. Every woman wants to look stunning on her wedding day. Now, help is on the way for Bulging Brides. I think you can go a little bit tighter. As long as I look good, it doesn't matter if oh. I'm free or not. Meet Sarah. Her wedding is only six weeks away, and she can't fit into her dress. Oh, the fitting isn't going very good. I, and it's tight. I've got love handles on my back. So what are you going to do? I don't know. What Sarah doesn't know, I'm going to make her lose that weight. She's going to love it. Sarah! Uh-oh. I'm Tommy Europe. Can you blow my... It's kind of a hot dress. Yeah. How's it fit? That's so hot. What are you prepared to do about it? I will do whatever it takes. That's a good answer. This is your food diary. I want you to keep track of everything you're eating. This will come in handy. Tommy and Nadine like burst in out of nowhere and handed me some workout gear. And so it's, it's scary. Oh my God, I'm dying. Sarah's in for the struggle of her life. She's only got six weeks to fit into her dress. Oh, it's horrible. I, I don't even want to look at that. But time is running out for this bulging bride. Wait. It's do or die. My, my dress does not fit. When I first came into the store, I ordered one size smaller. So I'm, I'm in the one size smaller and, you know, my body's one size too big. Okay, hang on. I'm planning and organizing the whole wedding, everything down to making the invite. Look, are you paying attention? I am paying attention. Okay. I saw her freak out the other day when she couldn't find uh, her jewelry. Are you sure? It's in a little I'm bag. I'm sure, I haven't seen it. I could, if you'd stop putting my stuff places, I wouldn't get so freaking angry. When Sarah gets stressed, she overeats. And it doesn't help that hubby to be Rick is a junk food junkie. It all adds up to one bulging bride. I'm Tommy Europe, personal trainer. This is my partner, nutrition coach Nadine Bowman. We're on a mission to help brides look great on their big day. Sarah's food diary was full of monster meals. She needs a wake-up call. Welcome to your Isle of Shame, Sarah. This is the fat fodder breakfast. Egg and cheese sandwich. The egg is fried in oil. This thing is 350 calories on its own. Ugh. That's not even taking into consideration these five fat bombs that you ate. You might as well just tape these to your hips because that's exactly where they're gonna go. Seemed like a good idea at the time. This may look like a small meal, but the whole thing is 850 calories and that's over half of your daily intake. Wow. Welcome to the back butt buffet. This is an insane amount of fatty Chinese buffet. Did you leave food for anyone else there that day? <laughs> I don't think so. In this meal alone, you consumed 4,234 calories. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot of calories. The drunken dinner. You remember this one? 14 drinks? No, I don't really remember that one. You drank six glasses of wine, vodka cranberry, ciders, beer. Add in the chocolate cake, the carrot cake, the Nanaimo bars, the fries. You thought the Chinese buffet was bad. 5,170 calories. Holy cow. That's your caloric intake for three days oh in one God. meal. I think it's gonna be hard to change my eating habits. There's gonna be a lot of social events and I think it'll be really hard for me to maintain control because there's so many uh, things to tempt me. Sarah's gonna have to give up temptation if she wants to get into that dress. Now, let's check out what we're working with. Ladies, Sarah. Hands up. We need a starting point for you. Bust, 36. Waist, 31. Hips, 39. Okay, Sarah, gonna get you to step up on the scale. Weight, 100. 
36 pounds. That's, uh, that's not very good. Get you to step off, Sarah. Take a look at the screen. You're at the top end of your weight range for your height of 5'3". We want to maximize your hourglass figure in that dress. Sarah, this is Jean, your seamstress. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Let's go. How's it going, Sarah? Almost done. This dress is an A-line silhouette. It's fitted on top and it flares straight down to the bottom. This bodice is a bustier bodice, which means that it laces up in the back like a corset. See that upper part of your chest, your lats, triceps. Can you turn around a little bit? The way it's tied up back there. OK, <laughs> we're going to lose that back ass, too. Do you, Sarah, promise to train as hard as you possibly can for the next six weeks? and to follow your meal plan, even in times of temptation? I do. Let's get to it. All right. We've got six weeks to tone the shoulders and arms, drop inches off the waist, and bring that booty under control. It's do or die, right? I have to, I have to get it done. It's gotta happen. I can't take my dress in two days before the wedding and say, it doesn't fit. <laughs> All the stuff that we're doing today is gonna give me a better idea of where you are physically, your strengths, your weaknesses, your will, and desire. <laughs> Run it. I'm running. Oh. <laughs> Careful. Marriage is a slippery slope. Nothing will get you ready for marriage Come on. like the ball and chain. Daddy, I'm going. <sighs> Times get tough. Sometimes you get cold feet. <laughs> bigger steps, bigger steps. Cold feet, cold feet. Come on, let's go. Hit it. And up. I don't like you very much, don't Hit it. What'd you say? I said I don't like you very much. Hit it. What'd you say? You heard me. Hit it. What'd you say? I like you so much, Tommy. Good job. To commemorate the vows you're about to take, we're going to hit the gold ring stage. <laughs> Come on. Knees up, knees up, knees up. Oh my god, I'm dying. Sarah? Yeah. I think I found your weak spot. I think you did too. I thought I had a decent core. The bride slide kicked my ass. I got a couple, couple leg lifts, but after that, it just all went downhill. Ah! Come on, Sarah. It's my job to make sure you are able to fit into that dress. And one. Your abs and core are not that strong. Tell me about it. That's the area we need to work on here. See parts of the back that we're going to be working on? Looking forward to our next meeting. Not me. I am. Wow, your food diary said that you ate a lot of junk, but this is full to the max. Chips, more chips. Oh, guess what? Chips. This is the never ending chip cupboard. We like chips. Two handfuls, 230 calories. Yeah, and I don't usually stop at two handfuls. Cookies, cake mix, the mother load of sugar. Pudding. Chocolate's a girl's best friend. Candies, when do you eat these? When don't I eat those? Okay. Ugh. Whoa, that looks heavy. Gotta get that in nice and close. I've ransacked a lot of kitchens, and this has got to be the worst kitchen ever. I can't understand why Sarah is not blowing up like a house, because seriously, she eats like one. The majority of our cupboards was uh, quick snack junk food, and I was amazed to find out how many calories it actually was. It's empty now. You got that right. Next, things are getting hot. Eat it. And hotter. So loud, I'm sexy. Sarah's dying to be a buff bride, but she's got pounds of problems. I'm bulging in places I shouldn't be bulging. Will six weeks of hard work be enough to get her into that dress? <laughs> What'd you say? I said I don't like you very much. Hit it. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Tommy. So you're a soon-to-be new bride. Mm -hmm. Along with that comes a lot of changes. Some of these changes can result in excess weight gain. I've seen what you eat, and if you maintain that, you can gain 10 to 15 pounds a year. What's that going to look like in three years? Take a look. Oh, that's horrible. I, I don't even want to look at that. Is that what you want to look like on your three-year wedding anniversary? Absolutely not. I don't think the marriage would last that long. Well, lucky for you, 
put together a great fitness plan for you. Nadine's put together an excellent nutrition plan for you. You keep that up, this is the other option. Yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. I like that. You like that better? Oh, yeah. Let's go. All right. Down, up, explode, catch yourself. This is a power push-up. So obviously he's working your triceps, you're gonna hit your chest, you're gonna hit your back, because you're working your stabilizers. Where are you feeling this the most? In my abs. Good. Your abs was one area of your dress where you're having problems when you bent over, right? Oh yeah. Okay. We're definitely gonna be working on her upper back, uh, her lats, her shoulders, her triceps, because obviously that's the main part that's showing. Faster, faster, faster. I'm gonna have Sarah in the gym six fun-filled hours a week. <laughs> push, 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 push. I'm pushing. I wanna look good in my dress and I wanna look hot, so this is all just part of the process. How you doing so far? Never been better. This is your new wedding dress meal plan. We have three meals and two snacks. Each one has a little bit of protein and a little bit of carbs. We're taking your calories down from your usual 3,000 to about 1,600 breakfast. This is a low-fat yogurt parfait and half a bagel, not a whole one. Peanut butter on there. This is another lunch that can be done on the go. Go for whole wheat or whole grain over white. If you're gonna do the frozen dinner, go for the leaner options where it's lower calories, lower fat. I'm planning on sticking to my food plan, but in all honesty, I can't guarantee that that's gonna happen. Not that my meal plan is not good, but my meal plan is a little bit bare bones. At the stay yet, opt for seltzer or soda water and lime juice instead of alcohol. You know what I'm saying. Oh yeah. I'm sorry, but if anybody thinks that I'm not gonna drink on my staget, they've got another thing coming, because I'm gonna be drinking. I will get a pitcher of coconut mojito. <laughs> Take that, Tommy. in the morning. Time for my entertainment. Payback's a bitch. Hell. Good morning. How's your head today? I hope you guys had a good time last night. Because today it's my turn. You're gonna fulfill your lifelong dream today. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Inside, oh, inside. Oh, Jesus. Sarah, Hi. Tammy. I'm Tammy. Have you ever tried pole dancing? <laughs> and keep that wrist straight. Please. If you are getting dizzy, try not to stare at your pole because you'll see everything moving behind you. It didn't feel great being hung over pole dancing. <laughs> There's a lot of spinning and in the air and spinning, <laughs> even when you're not moving. I'm gonna teach you how to do a lap dance. Tap to the left, lift your hip up, you're gonna stop on the up, turn, and stop. Time for a special audience. Oh my God. Now we're ready for a show. Uh oh. I guess that's not very sexy. <laughs> Don't laugh, I'm sexy. It is getting hot in here. Next, wedding stress grows. I'm the bride. I tell you what happens. Sarah has to face the numbers. Wait. It's do or die. My, my dress does not fit. I've got love handles on my back. It's less than three weeks till the big day, and Sarah is still struggling to fit into her dress. I don't feel like I'm getting a whole lot of results right now. I'm scared, because this it's do or die. My dress does not fit. Halfway point. Nervous? Oh, yes. Bust. 36 inches. No change. I don't mind that one. Waist. 29. You're down two inches. Two inches. All right. Hips. 38. You've lost one inch. One inch. That's not very much. See what you weigh. Can you get a step up on the scale? Weight. 
131 pounds. All right, you're down five pounds. Happy with the weights, not so happy with the measurements. Well, the most important part is how the dress fits, so let's check it out. How are you girls doing in there? All ready. How does it feel? It's still tight in some spots. There's still a little bit of back cleavage, and this gap is too wide. We want to close this up about an inch and a half, maybe even two inches. Also, it's too tight on top. You should be able to slide two fingers quite easily. Right now, we can't do that. Sarah also mentioned that it's quite tight in the belly still. At the midway point, Sarah's still got a long way to go. Cardio is gonna be increased. Upper body resistance training with high repetitions are gonna be paramount in these next three weeks. I am nervous that it won't get done in the three weeks that I've got to get done, but uh, it's, it's do or die, right? I have to, I have to get it done. Today is the rehearsal, and we're going to do a little walkthrough. Make sure everything's gonna run smoothly next Saturday. Yeah. No, 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 we're not ready yet. I'm the bride, I tell you what happened. I'm getting irritated, Sarah. The rehearsal is uh, a little bit trying. I don't seem to have any kind of say in the matter. I'm stressed, I'm majorly stressed. I'm staying up till one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. I feel like I'm constantly hungry. I'm working out all the time. I gotta keep working it because I do want my dress to fit. You have no choice, come on, now we're married. So we're going right onto the top of that. We are. Next, Rick gets a fitness challenge of his own and it's payoff time for Sarah. Bulging bride Sarah has endured six weeks of calorie slashing, plus six hours a week of punishing workouts. But has she done enough to fit into her dress? I've got a pretty ambitious goal set for me, so it's kind of do or die. Now it's time for her fiance Rick to share in the struggle, as we meet at the base of a 3,000 foot mountain. It's time for your partner challenge. All right. So we're going right onto the top of that. We are together. Together. Yes. Come on, guys, let's go. It's too early to be falling back. It's basically like a everlasting Stairmaster. Um, if you're going at a good pace, uh, you can break an hour. Um, if you take it really slow, you can take two hours. You guys are doing great. Keep it going. Together, just like the rings, you're stuck like Chuck. As long as we're not stuck with you. Rick's having fun. Oh. It's a real test of how much you love someone. I'm never doing it again. Sarah's training is paying off. Rick should have joined her. He's not Come doing on, so good. Come on, pumpkin. Come on, pumpkin. Not good. It's getting pretty tough. Tough to beat. Wow. Be prepared, because it's going to be like that for the rest of your life. I see the light. Woo. Yeah. Oh. We did it. Wow. What was the hardest part for you? For me, it was seeing her beat, beat me up the hill. <laughs> it's what it's gonna take in that marriage. Grind it out, good times and bad. Look at you with the pearly whites. Nice, got the braces off. Finally. Nervous? Very. You can definitely see a difference in this area. Bust, 34 inches. You're down two inches. Holy cow. Waist. 27. You've lost four inches oh. off your waist. All right. That is a lot. Yes. Hips, 37. You're down two inches. All right. How do you feel so far? I feel great. That's awesome. Step up on the scale. Weight, 124 pounds. You have lost oh my 12 God. pounds. Wow. But we're not done yet. The point of the past six weeks was to try and fit into the dress. Yes. So get off that scale and get your butt in that dress. All right. How long do we have? A couple minutes. I've got a surprise for Sarah. I've invited some special guests for the Ooh. final reveal. Is this up? Okay. We all want to know if that dress is going to fit. When I came out of the fitting room, there was my mom and my grandmother and one of my bridesmaids, so it was a huge shock. And 
It made me feel great. You look like a princess. Aw, thanks, Tommy. Yeah. Jean, what should we know? Guys, this fits great, especially in the bust and the waist. No more back cleavage. <laughs> also, the waist is reduced so much that it goes down into this really pretty V, and in the front, passes the two finger test. I'm thrilled. So proud of you. I had big problems with the waist before. It was horrible, but and now it fits perfectly, and it's amazing. I couldn't be happier. Sarah came out, her family was outside, so just even looking at, at their faces and their reactions, knowing where we started and uh, where we finished, it was a, a sense of great accomplishment. And uh, Sarah's going to look fantastic on her wedding day. With her back and shoulders toned up and inches lost from her waist and hips, Sarah has moved from pudgy to perfect in her size 6 dress. I feel great for um, meeting my goal. It's so rewarding because there's a lot of times throughout this process that I didn't think I could do it. I want to be a healthier, happier person for Rick and myself, so I think it's really important, and I think I now have the tools to do that.